So this is my awesome Skag Cheetah 52. That's for sale. I gave up my last mowing account. Um, now I'm just gonna work my regular job. I just got this operator control discharge chute put on. I really, really like it because I like having the actual chute. If you want to discharge or if you like have some clumpy grass, it doesn't blow back up in your face. Some of the OCDCs that you have don't have the, um, the chute on it. It just has the regular flap down here. So when it's open, it doesn't have adequate protection for the dust and all that junk that wants to blow back up in your face. So I like the way the Skag has the chute and the operator control discharge plate and that you can operate it really, really easily. And it's spring loaded and adjustable. So that thing is really awesome. Dual tanks, of course, you're gonna have on your commercial Skags, not your residential ones, but your commercial ones. Uh, you're gonna have the heavier end Kawasaki engine. Um, we put a little angle iron because we were pulling trailers with it. First your fuel change valve. Um, we always take the guards off here so that we can blow around those spindles and not let grass accumulate there. Had new belts and blades um, the end of the summer, about the beginning of the fall. see there's no leaks and I haven't pressure washed it so if there was a leak it would still be here I left it dirty so y'all could see we're not cleaning up an oil leak and trying to hide anything there's the bottom of the engine there's no leaks it has the flat free front tires and then the standard back tires we, we kind of customized this trailer. It's an eight foot long trailer, but it just barely fits the mower the way that we made this custom blower box. And it's not made to be waterproof. It's made to vent the gas fumes. These are spring loaded hinges on the bottom. So it makes lifting this really, really easy. And so you got your weedier string, your roundup, your backup roundup and then your trash picker upper and you can fit two blowers in here or blower, chainsaws, hedge trimmer. And then it was all made to padlock. So someone could cut through this, but it's like if you run into Home Depot, your stuff's gonna be safe for a short while. Um, we put carabiners on here when we're not in a place where we need to lock it. We put padlocks on when we have to go into Home Depot. The trailer comes with three padlocks that have the same combination on it. You can see I cut this notch in the rubber here so it holds this wire so this weed eater won't spin it keeps the carburetor up so it won't flood so that's the way you want to store your weed eaters is what i was told we had a mowing company for about 17 years and we always had it to where the carburetor would always be on the top side so it wouldn't flood when you go to start it it was always ready to roll So what we have on the trailer is a padlock on one side, just to keep people from tampering with it. Um, not trying to drop the ramp and take your mower while you're in Home Depot. And then a quick latch on the other side. And then we do a bifold. We always cut the ramps and shim them with spacers there so that the ramp will be um, straight and strong when you drop it but then when you have it up and you're going down the road 80 miles an hour it's not dragging too much wind and it's easier to see out the back window when it's a, a bifold ramp so you can take this box off if you'd rather have the full eight foot but it's perfect um we always mount the box to where the mower is going to sit tight so you really don't have to tie it down unless you're going long distances when you close the ramp it's going to sit really really tight now, the first thing you do when you close the ramp is just kick that up and then you can let go. So it's nice to have a quick latch on one side and then a padlock on the other side. And see, it sits tight. So when you get that padlock on there, the mower is not gonna move. So this is a sturdy built trailer from the trailer supply man down in Maynard. 
and it's got the better A-frame jack and it has um, the, I got the heavier duty tires on it. So these are load E tires. So they're way overkill. If you want to put like a pallet of grass on here or whatever, like these are 80 PSI and they, these tires were new last year and the greasable hubs. So this is that, the heavier duty um, A-frame trailer. It's not like a truck supply or Home Depot trailer and it does have a title. A lot of trailers don't don't have a title, which is fine in Texas, but this just makes um, buying and selling and getting your registration a lot easier since it has a, a title. So this is your perfect side job mowing uh, gig that'll slide right in the garage with the ramp down and the ROPS down, rollover protection system down. And I made it because I was taking it to work and I would be in work all day but nobody would jack with my stuff because it was all padlocked up of course the adjustable suspension on the cheetah this is why i like the cheetah over the tiger tiger's a a, a really solid motor, mower but this suspension platform is really really nice rides like a cadillac